Hi, welcome back to the channel. And it's going to be a new video on the Z3. Uh, I know it's been a wee bit of time. Um, I was getting various parts for it and things, so I'm going to show you what we've done today. And um, hopefully this sounds working. I know in the RS Turbo video I had a few problems with sound. I think that was down to Bluetooth being on in the van and trying to match that. It just didn't work, so I'm going to spin your... So it's been a wee while and what I've been doing is gathering up parts. And I have a lot of parts and a lot of a prep at the minute. Excuse the noise. I've got a friend help me. He's prepping the bumpers at the minute. So what we're going to do is I'm going to clean the, clean the doors down. Clean the bonnet down and I'm going to get some um, some panel wipe cleaner on it here and we'll start figuring out where all the dents are. So I don't know if you're actually going to pick them up or not. The likes of... Uh, you can't see the likes of these dents here. There's one just, just there you can just see. So basically I'll go over the door mark out all the dents. Um, we're going to fix them. They're all wee car park things. There's a few along here which are hard to pick up. And then the bonnet, uh, the likes of lacquer peel here on it, lacquer peel here, it's all going to be flattened down. And likewise with the door here, a couple more dents to this here, probably a bit easier to see. You can see the ripples, so I'm going to fix all that, hopefully tonight. Uh, get the bumpers ready, and then as I say, I have some of the panels, uh, I have all the panels there that I need, including the sills. So I'll bring them in later on and we'll have a look at them. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just get a bit of sandpaper and basically what I'm just going to do is the likes of this mark here, I'm just going to sand it down, highlight it and then we're just going to use a bit of dolphin glaze which is a self-leveling putty don't need any big filler or anything on it and we'll get that onto it and then get the door ready uh, get the mirror pulled off or whatever we're going to do with that I was going to take the doors off but I think it's going to be better actually on the car the paint so uh, we'll crack on with this, get a bit more sort of rubbed down on it and uh, come back to you at the different stages of doing it. What we've done is basically just over the bonnet, any wee chips, marks, scrapes, let's we went over it with 320 DA pads. Just ignore that sound for a minute. Any wee dents on the door, I've sorted out any wee dents in the door and anywhere where there's a wee mark I have put um, i put filler on it for now and also going to move it out here and get this other door done. So we'll come back into it and show you um, the parts that I've got done and prepped and we'll go through it with the different layers of repair we're going to do to it. Right, okay, so that's it virtually finished. We have got the door all prepped. As you can see, just a few dents turns into a bit more uh, filler. Uh, that was all just car park dents the whole way along, same level. So I'm always particular where I park in a car park. Obviously, other people aren't. Um, bonnet all down to the, the metal where it needs to be. A couple of wee dents with filler in them. So that's ready now for uh, primer. And then this panel here as well and not so bad to say a couple of wee dents and still to take the mirrors off obviously get them ready but that's the whole thing ready for primer going to pull these vents out and then i was starting in that as you can see that's just surface rust so i was just doing that in between those waiting on uh, some coat strand and then uh you have to excuse the music there's other people here as well so See a front bumper all rubbed as well. A couple of wee marks in it. There's a couple of wee holes. Um, 
but good quality bumper so it would have taken a couple of knocks off curbs and things and obviously just uh, survived not like new bumpers and then the last item then is uh, tailgate again just took the badges off and a couple of wee uh, a couple of wee dents and things where the badges were but pretty much that's it all ready to go and get taped up and into primer so that's we're in their second day here actually but that's about four hours so not too bad at all okay welcome back to the z3 this is actually a long time after i started this video so just trying to catch up with things and as you can see it's in the booth and spin you around here getting all the parts ready so this is the parts and panels i've got let me just pump this off this um yeah so these have been prepped for a long time and sitting and basically this is the first time i'm getting a chance to get them near the booth so um like i said to you before we replaced them two quarter panels uh replaced this small panel this quarter panel went again this was the one that came off the car so it survived and we had to put a small plate on the bottom of it there make a new plate and copy the one on the other side and then bumpers here it's ready the whole car is ready um I had a comment already yes trying to get these mirrors off here at the minute but they are i've just went for the other side and they're actually broke first one's broke on me so for today i'm going to tape around them get the primer onto the car get the primer onto the bonnet and as you can see you need to get out the allen keys here to remove them and it's broke that mirror so that's why the mirrors weren't removed in the first place although they have to come off obviously for the paint job so Unfortunately, it looks like it's me down two mirrors now as well, or two mirror bases, which I'll have to source and locate. Uh, yes, bumper was there, and basically a few other pieces over here in the corner. I've got my tailgate, got my rear bumper. The old cells were there. I've got my new cells here wrapped up, which I'll bring out. So probably going to be a bit of hyperlapse and getting ready and then a couple of coats of primer and I'll sort of come back to you like I said this video started out uh, a couple of weeks back and I've been waiting just a fair chance to get in so this is my first opportunity so a bit of a time lapse get everything into the booth and uh, we'll see where we go from there right so I have removed the handles again just coming in I'm sure some of you already know but the wee rubber cap here and there's a slider pushes in that allows the handles to come out and lucky enough I've got the got this mirror to twist around so two allen keys here to take that out so that mirror is salvageable but again I'm just going to prime that now like that because it's not going to get in the way and this is what I ran into earlier as you can see this mechanism is seized so that one, yes, I'll be able to take off. Just have to take the door cards off the inside and this trim off as well. So I'm going to go ahead really quickly and get this taped up. Get all the, uh, get the plastic sheeting on it. And then we'll start putting the parts in. You'll see what I have going in now. And then bumpers, etc. And an awful lot of primer. So everything is in the paint booth. Everything is taped up, put on racks where I need to put the primer it's exposed and pretty much I don't have any space left I still have a tailgate out there and I still have a couple of trims and a couple of um, side mouldings and things to do but I'm not going to get them done tonight in this so uh, it's also going to be tricky to do uh, to do a lapse on it so what I'll do is I'll do a wee bit of um, filament just while I'm priming bits and pieces because number one the camera and phone will be racked and number two is nowhere where I can really put it that isn't going to get in the way because as you can see um, I've used every bit of space so come back in a few coats let you see a few coats going on and then let you see it all finished
Okay, that's the end of the marathon priming session. Uh, pretty much, as you can see, everything's got a nice coat over it. Nice and smooth. Nice to see it all in one color again. And bonnet area. Uh, a few issues with that wee panel. Uh, no point in trying to hide it, I'll just show you. There's a few, if you can see it, there's a few edges and stuff that started to react. So I'll have to do an already bit of work to that. Um, now that it's sealed in with a primer, I'll put a wee bit of filler into that and just smooth that out. Uh, it's obviously sunk in the previous repair. It was second hand parts, so that does happen. And then the door and the front bumper. The front bumper had repairs and things along the front there, so. It's all just nice one color, nice thick coat that I could rub back down and no real damage in that bumper which is a good thing as well. Um, there was a few chips in the front edge which I have filled a bit I'm not even too concerned. All I'm concerned about is getting a bit of color on this car to use it. Um, it's definitely by no means going to be a, a show car but just to get it nice and fresh and painted again will be, be a good job. Um, and also the door so next step is a bit of black guy coat uh, this again you've seen me use before this is purely for use my fingers this is purely for rubbing down so as I flatten that out all them black marks will disappear and that'll give me a lovely smooth finish so I'm gonna carry on with this I'll pull it back outside again probably hang the quarter panels on the back just on the car because I have to put it up in the air in the ramp for storage um, so that's probably about all you'll see I'll just come back to you briefly at the end uh, once I've done this and the panels on and just give you a wee quick look at it and that'll do me for this session with the car okay so final video or final part of the video I should say is uh, Put the panels back on and just a couple of screws in to hold them. Same with the bumper. That's the quarter panel on. Door ready and I'm actually going to pop the front bumper on as well when I get it over towards the ramp. So that's the end of this part here. Uh, that's getting it into primer. What I'll do is I'll flatten all this primer back and then what I'm actually going to do is I'll use a sealer. I'll use another coat to seal the whole area. Um, Mirrors will be off, just for anybody mentions about them as well, that they are uh, going to be removed for the next thing. Well, everything's going to be removed, so we'll get a wee bit more into it whenever we're stripping it and rubbing it down. But say that's quite a significant part of the work done, and I'm just glad to be able to get to it. But as you can see, it even just in that colour, it just looks great to see it all back in the one colour again. So, so yeah, thanks for tuning in, watching this episode, and hopefully you've enjoyed it. And um, if you have, give us a thumbs up. It helps me with the, uh, the selection of YouTube for promoting the videos and for basically showing it to people. And at the end of the day, that's what's most important to me is just to get a wee bit of feedback from people and uh, see if people are enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying doing it. So, um, like I say, if you enjoyed it, stick a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. And we'll get this vehicle prepared for paint and hopefully we get some sort of summer and we'll get to enjoy it. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.